Ahoy there, ain't there the captain here. Welcome to another edition of Captain's Arcade. Whew, hard to believe we're in November already. Which means we're getting closer and closer to Wrestlecade. And it's my favorite time of the year, let me tell you. Everybody has their own traditions of going to Black Friday, you know, trying to get the best deals and trying to stampede and trample all over each other just to get that Xbox or that PS5 or any any sort of electronic or anything that they can get their hands on. It's like supermarket sweep on steroids, but I have my own my my own rendition of Black Friday and that's WrestleCade. And it's going and on uh, and on that Friday is going to be my very this is my very first TNA pay-per-view turning point and my second TNA show overall and back in 2022 they um TNA back when it's known as Impact Wrestling at the time um they did a special 80s theme show and I'm going to be doing go, they're going to be doing a full-fledged pay-per-view turning point on um on that Friday it's going to be on the 29th and I can't wait I'm I'm absolutely excited which is also the weekend of um Survivor Series and they're going to be re- it's the return of War Games you gotta say like what like Lord Stephen Regal does it or, or else it won't work um but anyway they have their tradition of, it's the tradition, the uh, steel cage is invented, of course, by the late great, late, the late great American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, and it's two teams, and one person from each team alternates, giving the little bit of an advantage, if you would, before ne- before the next entry comes in, and after every, te- every member of each team is entered the cage, that's when the match beyond begins, which is... Uh, a, a subsection of this of the match um and uh but WWE's version of it is the war games match begins but I didn't watch did, didn't see any war games uh matches until I got started after wa- after we watching wrestling back in during the the Monday Night Wars I didn't start wait start watching actively watching wrestling until late 1997 early 1998 and uh Fall Brawl War Games 98, it was back when they had three teams and um, pinfalls and submissions were al- pinfalls and submissions were allowed and the reward going to going to one person, which in that case was DDP, Diamond Dallas Page, and uh, which was a World Heavyweight Championship title shot against Goldberg, the, re- the reigning champion at the time. But um, the traditionally, the only way to win is when um, the match beyond begins is through submission or surrender, but pinfalls and submissions were allowed during that time period. Same goes with with um, Fraud Ball 2000, Russo's Revenge. Don't even get me started on that. It's an abysmal of a match. It features the triple cage, which was seen in the movie Ready to Rumble. But normally... The uh, Fall Brawl, the War Games, if you would, has two cages, with two rings with a giant cage and a roof above. But WWE's version does not have a does not have a roof on top. And as soon as the their rendition of the match beyond begins, pitfalls and submissions were allowed. So, so there's that. And uh, and it does not have a roof on top of it. Because um, they already have their, but based on what I've read, WWE has their own rendition of uh, the roof on top, which is Hell in the Cell. They want to distinguish that from Hell in the Cell to their rendition of War Games, and so thus they had their own rendition of War Games. And besides, pinfalls and submissions were allowed once everyone has entered the ring, entered the cage. So, so yeah, there's that. Anyway, sorry for rambling on so much. I just have everything happening on that one Thanksgiving weekend. I know you got the turkey. You got um, loved ones coming over for a great big dinner. And, of course, football. Can't have, can't have a Thanksgiving weekend without football. So so there's that. But anyway, um, meantime, in the between time, let's play some video games. We're going to be going bowling this time. Super bowling for the SNES. I've never played this game before. I played some sample games right before showtime. And uh, let's see what they have in store. And by the way, Bill Craner, for watching this, 
I could show you some pointers here because I'm not the best at this. This, this is this is news to me. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. And if you um, happen to watch this episode, I could show you some pointers because I know you, you've been playing for some bowling leagues for quite some time. Technos, the company behind WWF, WWF Superstars and WWF War... Um, and, WWF, and its sequel, WWF WrestleFast. And for I can add, add the shoulder buttons. Change the player. Can change the weight of the ball and the lanes, the oil of the lanes, and oil them up for better friction. Hmm. Spare tire. <laughs> Split. I hate these. <sighs> Not even close. Bummer is right. Spare tire. Same exact pins. Why even bother? Bill when you need him. My score isn't all that great. I guess I got a spare tire on this. <clears throat> well, 
Final score, 122. Let's do it again. Spare tards. <laughs> Steerike. Why is it the same exact pins? Why is it doing it? Spare tired. <laughs> Steve Reich. <sighs> Whew, another Steve Reich. Dubla, 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 dubla. <clears throat> Not quite a turkey. In fact, I want some turkey right now. I feel like Whitman Mayo, aka Uncle Raymond, they kicked from Kenan and Kel, aka Grady from Sanford and Son, however you want to. I want to try it. I'm feeling like getting some turkey in my belly. I'll feel a whole lot better once I get some turkey in my belly. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Yo, spare tires. <laughs> spare tire. Tire. <clears throat> so close. I think I get some sort of rhythm because once you lose your rhythm, it's hard to get back in it. <clears throat> Another smart <smart-tard. laughs> Final frame. Steve Reich. Oh, another Steve Reich. I did not expect that. score. I think I made the list. Oh, 200. Just barely made the list. Did I make the list? I guess I'm tied with whoever. Woo! Yeah, yeah, 200. At least I am in the two, made the 200 club. Okay. Woo! Shower me with what was it? Champagne or something? I didn't make the list. I made the list, but I didn't make the list. Question mark? Hmm. Oh, yeah, at least I cried 200. 
Unfortunately, I didn't make the list, but oh well. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this edition of Captain's Arcade. I got an idea of what I'm going to be doing for WrestleCade weekend, but uh, nothing is confirmed just yet. But uh, we'll just have to see how things go. But anyway, that's going to do it for this edition of Captain's Arcade. Join tomorrow for some more arcade fun. Until then, maybe say goodbye.